In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the pen tool in Affinity Designer. I'll try to explain it to you by recreating these little illustrations that I have prepared here. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So when you activate the pen tool by pressing P on the keyboard, you can see a few settings right here. I'm going to start with the pen mode. With the pen mode, you can create straight lines and sharp nodes by simply clicking, or you can create smooth lines by clicking, holding the left mouse button and uh, dragging the node. The nodes in the shape of circle means that the nodes are smooth and the nodes in the shape of square means that the nodes are sharp. Then you've got the line mode and this mode creates a straight line after the first mode and automatically terminates the, the line after the second mode. So I can be creating as many lines as I want like this and it allows me to create a new line every time I do this. So next option that I would like to speak about is the rubber band mode. Let's have a look what this one does, but I'll come back to the pen mode. So when I actually deactivate the rubber band, the, the pen mode behaves like this. But when I activate the rubber band mode, you can see the little rope. It shows me the predicted direction of my next node. So next one is add new curve to selected curves object. And what this one does is that it adds new curves on the same layer as the original curve. So I'll create a few nodes. I'll press escape on the keyboard to terminate the node. Then I'll create another curve. And what you can see here on this layer panel is that I have the, both curves on the same layer. But if I didn't have this option activated, I would create a curve. I would press escape to terminate the, the node. And I would create another curve. And you can see that I got two separated layers here. Right, so I'll come back to the smart mode. What this mode does is that it creates flowing curves and shapes by clicking and placing nodes. So I'll show you the difference between the pen mode and the smart mode on these two curves. When I have the smart mode activated, I'll create a node, I'll create another one. And before I create another node, you can see the light blue line that determines the direction or the shape of the curve that I'm about to create. And you can see that I've got a smooth node here, but when I switch to the pen mode, I'll create a node, I'll create another one and another one. And you can see that I've got a sharp node here. So the difference here is that the pen mode can create sharp nodes and the smart mode creates already nice and flowy, smooth notes. And here I just wanted to show you how you can further manipulate the notes. You can simply highlight one of them and move them up or down, left or right, simply by using the arrows on the keyboard. So let's put into practice what you just learned. I'll get rid of these lines because I won't need them anymore. I'll grab these scraps. I'll make the scraps bigger as well. I'll activate the pen tool. I'll create a note, then I'll create another one and I'll hold left mouse button and drag the node wherever I need it. I think here it's fine. Then to close the node, I'll click on the last node and I'll go and create another one. Here I can do two things. I can either again click and hold and drag and then close the curve here. Or I can create a sharp node then switch to the note tool, highlight this sharp note and convert it to a smooth uh, note. You'll get two little notes on each side. When you press shift on the keyboard, you can drag the note horizontally to the side and you're moving only one side of the shape. When you don't press shift, you are basically moving both notes on both sides in the same direction. Okay, let's create another shape. I'll create a note. I'll click and hold. I'll close the note by clicking on the last note and repeat it until I create the whole shape. Okay, so now let's create the legs. You click, click again to create a straight line. And now we're gonna create a curved line by holding the left mouse button. And here I wanted to show you how the pressure settings work. Here you can change the thickness of the line that we just created, but you need to first select it. The left node is the beginning of the node, which in my case was here because I started to create the curved here. And the right node, right corner, is the end of the curve, which in my case is here because it was my last node. You can create another node and you can 
drag both of them or if you want to drag only one side you press alt click on the node which you want to drag and you simply drag them so in my case i want to make both the beginning and the end node thinner so i'll drag both of them and then i can press alt and click on the first curve to create a copy and i'll create the rest of the legs so now i would like to show you how to create a line or a curve with a shape at the end or at the beginning so i'll create a curve i'll go back to the pressure settings and here you can see start and end it basically means start or beginning of the curve and end of the curve so in my case i want to add a little circle at the end of the curve so i'll go here and here you can see that you can choose from several shapes like square circle arrows and i will go for this one and i will cancel the pressure settings and I also need to decrease the width of the stroke. This is the eye for my crap. And here I wanted to show you how you can manipulate certain nodes. So here you can see that I have a nice and smooth curve here. You can add another additional curves. And when you highlight them, you can manipulate them as I mentioned before. But I show you how you can manip manipulate both sides at the same time. But now I want to show you how to manipulate only one side of the handle. You need to highlight the node, press Alt. And now you can move around or adjust only the side of the curve or of the node that you want. Let's have a look at another mode and it will be the polygon mode which creates the straight lines and sharp nodes. So here I just wanted to show you how you can create perfectly horizontal or perfectly vertical lines. You basically create a node, press shift and you'll get this yellow line which indicates the direction of the curve that you're about to create. You keep holding shift. And you create another node and another node and another node until you get till the end of the of the shape and obviously i want to get rid of the circle at the end and you can do it by going to the pressure settings you click on the end of the node and at the top there is none so now we got rid of the circle at the end of the of the curve here i want to show you how the polygon mode behaves when you don't hold shift you can basically create a line in any direction you want just like this and you have a ready to go constellation and here is our last little illustration so here i wanted to show you how to create the lines in the bird's tail with the line mode i'll create a node i'll create another one and I'll go to the pressure settings and I want to make the line thinner at the beginning and I'll save it so the next time when I go to the pressure settings again I will have it saved and I will not need to manipulate the nodes anymore so notice that I have the line highlighted or selected but I was able to create a new line without having to click off of the pen tool as I otherwise would with the with the pen mode I'm able to create new line a new curve every single time i click you can do many things with the pen tool and i don't think i've covered uh, every single thing you can do with it but what i've mentioned is what i use the most and what helps me the most when i'm creating my own project i have other videos where i share my tricks that help me save time when i work in affinity designer so go and watch them if you want to work in affinity designer more efficiently i love hearing from you guys so don't be shy and let me know in the comments what you would like to learn more about see you in the next video Ciao!